Alrighty guys, I'm Orthodon and we are back for ReZero Season 2 Episode 13, the finale of this half, because we're getting another half in winter season of anime, I believe, uh, unless that gets pushed back at all, you never know, with uh, with these times that we're living in, so I guess we'll see what this kind of, like, I don't know, I guess if you were to use, like, western terms, mid-season finale kind of thing has to offer for us, uh, Last time we had a assembly of all the witches coming together. Uh, we had Echidna trying to form a contract with Subaru in order to have all of his knowledge and basically everything. It was very creepy and ominous and very vague too. And he ended up denying it because he said all he wants to do is save uh, Beatrice. So... I don't know if that means, I, I talked about it in discussion at length, but I don't know if that means he's going to try to form a contract with Beatrice, or if, you know, he's just going to ignore the contract entirely and just save Beatrice, you know. But uh, right at the end, we had the uh, Satella show up, so that'll be interesting to see where we uh, where we pick up here. And, and all the other witches showed up to try to convince him not to, and it seemed like they kind of wanted him to contract with them as well, so yeah. We'll see what happens, so let's get started here on the last episode in five, four, three, two, one, now. Ah, oh, barriers keeping her out. Love you, love. For so long, love, love. <laughs> Sorry. Yep. <laughs> Fortunately, I've never had to deal with a stalker before. Eh, maybe I did a little bit. Hmm, interesting. Damn. Hmm. Interesting. <sighs> Damn. Oh, she definitely does look like <laughs> Amelia. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if I agree with what the witches are saying. 
maybe in some sense they have a point, but I think Subaru also would have been dead a long time ago if he didn't have this ability. If he only protected himself, you know. Oh, jeez. Is he about to crack again? Oh, jeez. Because you gave me everything. What? Ah. Uh, did he bite off his tongue? Damn. Interesting. So, they don't even really expect... Or they don't really know what he sees in those trials. <clears throat> it seemed like Echidna kind of knew what the first one was about. Yeah, Rem... Okay. I mean, you've definitely done a lot more than just die and repeat. He's a he does do that in order to get to where he wants to be in this world, but... But that's not the only thing he's accomplished, is dying and repeating. He's accomplished so many things, saving a lot of people. She keeps saying that. How did Subaru save... Oh. 
Hmm. Faceless Bride. I heard about that a little bit. Hmm. Yep, we talked about this. But what exactly does she want in return? That's the thing. Like, I know she said last episode in a very vague way. Hmm. So he basically, he basically wants to try to help people, but without throwing his own life away in the process, if I'm understanding it right. He's gonna try, like, like right now he's just, like, living his life to the next return by death in order to, uh... Sorry, I'm trying to read as well. In order to just learn things, he's throwing his life away. So maybe he's going to try not to just throw his life away anymore. Yeah.
Interesting. Oh. Is this going to be like the third trial, maybe? to kill me. Save you. All right. Oh. Okay. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Subaru's harem includes a ground dragon. <laughs> Everybody loves head pets. <laughs> okay, so possibly second. Whoa. Does he not have the qual qualification to enter anymore? Is that what that means? Or is that why... Hmm... So what is he gonna do? What? Okay, that was a creepy transition. Roswell, goddammit.
<laughs> like the complete opposite of what the, the witches were saying, essentially. Whoa. Bye bye, makeup. Jeez. Hmm. What's this? I mean, of course he wouldn't because of the book, right? What? What? So he's the one that hired Elsa. Jeez. Wow. So he's trying to get him to be someone that will only save Amelia and no one else. That's messed up. Ah, oh, Subaru. Uh, it's not gonna work, Subaru. Was that him sitting up? Is that what that sound was? It sounded like a door opening. Jeez. Yeah. 
he's not he doesn't hate Subaru, he's trying to shape him. Well shit. He's just gonna run away. One thing after another with Subaru, as soon as he thinks he has things figured out. <laughs> Is he just running off somewhere? Jeez. gonna have some kind of revelation I feel like I haven't said it yet but what is there something more to auto as well Put that aside. Or is he just... Hmm... I don't trust anybody anymore. I feel like there's more... More to auto. <laughs> it's rapidly played that like five times. All right. Is that it? Okay, yeah, that, that is it for 13, the final for this, this half anyway. Yeah, so that was a good episode. I definitely, uh, obviously there's, I've been saying it for a while now that I'm looking forward to the resolution to everything we've built up upon, but I also said last episode that I don't want it to be jam-packed in this last episode, so I am very happy that this episode happened rather than trying to really get into because the problem is if they really got into like if Natsuki or if uh, Subaru was like fully like fully invested and ready to solve all of these problems right like like at least I think he's going to uh and if he got started this episode we would have been at a really bad stopping point you know it would have been a point, like, since we're going to be taking a break until until winter, it would have been really disappointing if we had him be like, yeah, I got this at the start of the episode, and then have him start, like, making his way through things and only get, like, halfway done or less than halfway done and have the episode cut off, you know? Uh, so I definitely, like, prefer this better because I think this is basically... It's basically questioning everything that he's done since the beginning of the show, essentially. And, uh... And, you know, the witches gave him the idea that he needs to, like, you know, love himself more. He needs to... Essentially, not all of them were on the same page, but... You know, they, they didn't want to see him continue to throw his own life away in order to try to save others. Because, in a way, you do have to care about yourself, you know? And, and that's something he wasn't really doing before. And, and I definitely get that, for sure. Uh, 
But then he gets out and he gets challenged again by Roswell saying basically the opposite, where the only thing you should be caring about, your only resolve should be to uh, protect Amelia at whatever cost, even if it means other people dying, which is why he sent the assassins to the mansion to give him, you know, two options. He can't say both. He has to pick one. And, uh... And basically, Roswell's banking on the fact that he will help Amelia and then leave the mansion to die. So basically, Frederica, uh, Beatrice, uh, shoot, what's the, what's the young girl's name? Petra and, and Rem are, like, basically sacrifice all of them in order to save Amelia here. And, uh... And he's hoping that that will resolve Subaru to do whatever it takes in the future to save Amelia in order for whatever Roswell's, like, dream is to come true. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's certainly interesting. Um, I kind of, I obviously want, because the thing is, is I feel like we're regressing a little bit, if I'm, if I'm being completely honest. I feel like this is the the right before the white whale bit all over again where Subaru was losing his mind and then he had the really good conversation with Rem and he got back on track and now he's losing his mind again but I thought I thought this episode with the witches was going to be kind of what brings him back, you know, kind of and gets him back on track, uh, but maybe, maybe it's a combination of the witches and Otto, and kind of pushing what Roswell said out a bit, you know, and maybe next, in the next half of this, we're gonna see him kind of get his, his confidence and his gusto back a bit, you know, uh, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, maybe it'll take something else as well to, uh, to motivate him, but it's, uh, I don't know if there's more to Otto. I'm really not sure. Like like Subaru said, he's always showing up at the right time and being very motivating and stuff like that and being very perceptive to see when Subaru's like losing his shit and not asking too many questions, which makes it very suspicious. Like obviously that's what a friend does, but at the same time it's also what someone that's trying to manipulate Subaru would do, you know. So it's it's a little bit ominous, but I guess we'll see, especially after, like, Roswell reveals himself to be, like, both, like, equally a good guy and a bad guy, because he does things that are for the good of everybody, but he also does things that are just for the good of himself, so he's, like, he's in that weird category where I wouldn't put him as a full-on villain, but... I wouldn't put him as a full-on good guy. He's somewhere in between, you know, maybe like an anti-hero kind of thing, maybe, but, uh, but yeah, like, I definitely can see Subaru maybe slowly, like, especially with this little bit with Otto at the end, building up his motivation, and I think what we're amping up to is... Subaru sa finding a way to save everybody and maybe even, like, shocking Roswell. And I don't know if that would shock Roswell enough to have a change of heart, but maybe it would, like, I don't think he'd ever have a full change of heart, but maybe it would stop him from doing this kind of thing in the future where he's trying to, like, do, like, the... It's funny because it's very, uh... It was Joker, right? I think I don't watch a lot of the Batman movies. I did watch one, but where he had to make that that choice between uh, between two people, and if he went to one, the other one would would blow up. He he didn't have time to say both, you know. And uh, it, it's a very if that was Joker, which I believe it was, because I'm pretty sure Joker was the only bad guy in that movie. It was, like, the one Batman movie I ever saw was The Dark Knight. <laughs> so, <laughs> I've been meaning to, like, someday I kind of want to watch, like, more of those. But, uh... But, yeah, like... It's funny because we have this character here who's, you know, got face paint on, just like the Joker, giving someone these two choices... Um, I just kind of, I didn't really put that together until just now, but, 
But yeah, so I think I think what, what might happen is Subaru might figure out a way to save both. Roswell will be impressed and maybe not try to force this decision upon Subaru in the future. Obviously, I think there's still going to be parts of Roswell that want Subaru to only save Amelia, but I am a little bit curious if uh, if he will let up a little bit on his, like, trying to push Subaru so much if, uh, if Subaru manages to surprise him and save everybody. I can't imagine... With this kind of build-up and setup, I can't imagine we end up having Subaru uh, fail and not save one of them, you know? I guess, I mean, the, the writer of this does seem very kind of sadistic, so I guess it's possible that, that he could let... Because really, like, the only one at the mansion that we truly care about... Like, I'm sorry, Petra and Frederica and stuff like that, but Beatrice and Rem, and even Beatrice, like, I, I really like Beatrice, don't get me wrong. I don't want to see her die, but obviously Rem is at, like, the top of the list, so realistically, if we were to just let the mansion die, everybody there, the biggest one we'd be missing is Rem. Um, Beatrice has kind of been, like, you know, we know her to be a spirit, we know she wants to die anyway, so in a way, she's kind of getting what she wants anyway, you know? So, maybe it wouldn't be as sad, even though I think, I think she doesn't real. I don't think Beatrice realized what she truly wants. I think Subaru is gonna find a way to save her, and she is gonna live and leave her library and find kind of her, like, her whole, like, mission has been to... Like, follow the orders of Echidna and, and wait. And I think she's going to find a new person like Echidna to follow, you know? Um, and she'll kind of find a new lease on life. I think that's where the story is going to go eventually. But as of right now, she kind of wants to die. So, obviously, I really don't want Rem to die. That would be terrible. I almost... I know the story is primarily about Amelia... And I do like Amelia's character, but I definitely like Ren's character a lot, too. I I almost... There's almost a part of me that would say, just let Rem die. I, I'm sorry, just let Amelia die and, and just go live off with Rem. But obviously Rem is in a catatonic state as well right now, and people can't remember her and stuff. So who knows if they can even fix that. So, I mean, realistically, the best decision would be to let Rem die if he had to make that choice, but I still think he's just gonna try to save everyone, but, yeah, um, it's really interesting, the whole, like, conversation with the witches, and, and how they, they all have their own opinions, you know, when Subaru bit his own tongue and he was dying, uh, some of them were saying that they agree with his choice and, like, agree with his emotions, but then some of the other ones were like, why would you do that, you know? Like, I don't condone this, and it's interesting how they all have their own viewpoints, and then there's also Echidna, like, off to the side that's, like, doesn't really care either way. She's just kind of taking it all in, you know? And it makes a very creepy vibe, like, Echidna's cool and all, but I'm already starting to like a lot of the other witches over, uh over Echidna just because she doesn't really care, you know? Like, she doesn't... It's like Subaru said last episode, she doesn't really show that emotion. Man, my nose is really itchy. I don't know why. Nose hair is bugging me, probably. Um, but... I guess moving on to some of the stuff the Witch... Uh, the Witch of Envy, Satella, was saying... I'm a little bit confused by a lot of what she was saying because obviously I don't know the full story of, like, of why she looks so much like Amelia, essentially, you know? There's definitely more to the story when it comes to that because even if you're the same race as someone being a half-elf, you're not going to look exactly alike, but they look exactly alike. And I mean, we've obviously known for a while that people mistake uh, Amelia for Satella, but I feel like there's there has to be more to it 
And we also know that Amelia is really struggling in her trials, so... I mean, we did have the Ovas where we saw some, like, troublesome stuff in her past, you know? And maybe that's what she's going through in her trials. Or it's something, like, even worse that we don't know about yet that she's going through in her trials. And I'm, I'm kind of curious because... The way that Satella was talking was, like, you saved me, you know, you keep on saving me and saving me, but unless there's something I don't, I'm not picking up on, he hasn't saved Satella, like, at all, unless it's, like, a metaphorical type of saving, you know? He, he keeps saving Amelia, so does that mean there's some kind of connection between Amelia and Satella that we're just unaware of. We did see Amelia kind of, like, go into a crazed state where I thought she was just kind of, like, possessed, or it was the, uh... <clears throat> or a Satella posing as Amelia or something. And I guess, like... I don't know. I I'm just a little bit confused by that because I don't know the full the full story yet. Like, there was always the speculation back when, when, uh, Petokius was around that they were, they wanted to use Amelia's body as, like, a vessel for Satella, I think, wasn't it? Something like that. Um, <clears throat> and maybe, I wonder if maybe Satella views Subaru saving Amelia, which Satella knows is gonna be her vessel eventually, as something along the lines of Subaru saving her because it's going to be her future vessel. So as long as her future vessel lives, it's essentially saving her in a way. Maybe. I don't know. I'm really bad at picking up on some of this stuff, I think. Uh, I guess one of the other things I can think of is... Oh, what was I going to say? Like... I also wonder if the Witch of Envy is really as bad as the rumors say. Like, I can't quite remember back to season one to what the Witch of Envy did to become hated by everybody, you know? I guess she she pushed the dragon away, right? That used to, like, protect the kingdom, I think. But what else did she do? That's what I'm curious of. Because here, it seemed like the Witch of Envy wasn't wasn't super terrible, you know? Um, she seemed like she really cared for Subaru. She didn't want Subaru to keep hurting himself, you know? Which is a very, like, generous thing to think about. Granted, maybe she takes her envious behavior a little bit to the extreme, but I am trying to think about what, like, she did kill the other witches, right? Technically, and harness their power, but... Yeah, I can't exactly remember exactly what she did with that power once she did that to make everybody hate her. But but I didn't really get, like, super evil vibes. Just very, like, needy, needy girlfriend kind of vibes I was getting. So, I don't know. We, we also thought that all the other witches were evil, too, until this season where it doesn't seem like they're evil. It just seems like they all have their own little, like, almost, like curses in a way, you know? And I wonder if uh if Envy is just another one of those where she's not that bad of a person, she just has this this quirk about her that that makes her envious, you know? I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, I mean she did pull Subaru into this world and give him her turn by death, but the way she talks, it's like she did it to help him. I don't know. It's something I'll have to think about. Maybe maybe I'll think about it and come up with some other theories before uh, the next half begins. And, and I can talk about it at the beginning there. But, but yeah, I'm not sure. What else was there this episode? Not, like, a lot happened, but it was just a lot of, like... A lot of good stuff happened, but it was a lot of, like, extended conversation... I will say it felt like they they padded time a little bit, you know? Like, I feel like we're consistently getting these flashbacks of Subaru going through, uh, like, 
from the past, you know, we had the second trial where it went through the past. I understood the point of that one, but then we got him flashing back again to a lot of the scenes that have happened in season one and, and so far in season two. Uh, <clears throat> it definitely felt like they were padding time a little bit, but I, I did very much enjoy the episode regardless. Uh, I just don't know... Well, I guess I, I do know why they did it, but... Yeah, I don't know. It, it's, it's good. I, I, I did like this as a conclusion, like I said, because if they got started with Subaru like being like, alright, I'm motivated, let's go, and he started everything, I, I wouldn't feel satisfied if they left off in the middle of it, and I wouldn't feel satisfied if they packed it all into one episode. So, so I, I am very much enjoying how they ended this, uh, but... I, and I do understand that the, the state of the world, you know, with with uh, COVID and all that going on, uh, definitely, definitely causes some, like, this gap that we're about to have was never supposed to happen, you know, the, the seasons were supposed to, or the, the two, the, the two cores were supposed to air together, so... Uh, I, I do understand that there, the circumstances of the world is partially what has uh, driven us to to maybe this not being as well done as it could have been, maybe, you know? But, and they're also trying to, you know, they're trying to go off the manga, which is something that I really got to realize. I was thinking about this when I was showering right before I started recording was... You know, sometimes I watch a lot of live action in my off time, and I just don't really think about the fact that, like, I don't always think about the fact that they they need to go off of the reference uh, material, which is the manga, in order to to do this. So they can't just like they can't just like throw away a lot of the stuff from the manga in order to uh, fit everything in this first half that they maybe should have, you know. Uh, so I, I guess I do understand, like, maybe padding for time a little bit here and there, and, uh, and cutting some things out, like the whole, uh, Subaru getting away from the bunnies, they cut out the fact that he used, uh, Ryuzu to, to save him from that, so I, I guess I understand that, uh, but, but yeah, I don't know, interesting. Yeah, I don't. I don't really think I have much more to say about this. Uh, about this episode, I'm looking forward to the next half, which will definitely be coming. Uh, I usually like. I was doing a poll right now. The poll is going to be over by the time you guys see this, but uh, I, I do polls to vote for shows whenever they come on. But since since we watched the first half, I won't be doing a poll for winter season. I will just be doing uh, re zero unless there's. Unless I decide to, like, expand and add another airing show, then maybe I will, but, but I'm not sure about that, we'll see, but, uh, but yeah, anyways, guys, I think that's it for me, I've said but about uh, 500 times in this, because I'm just, like, I feel like I should talk more about some things, like, I mean... I was trying to think, like, I should have talked more about Roswell, but I don't really know that there's much more for me to say. Like, obviously he has his own schemes, we don't fully know what they are, and... It, I mean, I didn't talk about, like, the... The 400 years ago he was enchanted by those eyes or something. I'm not sure what, what that means, so... Once again, there, you know, obviously there was something in his past that drove him insane, and he surprised Subaru isn't insane yet, he's hoping that eventually Subaru will become like him, you know, and, uh, I don't know. Anyway, yeah, that's it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching, I will see you guys in, uh, in all my, in all my future reactions and stuff like that. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, check out my Patreon if you want to see, uh, some of my Patreon exclusive stuff where I'm watching, uh, uh, Soul Eater and The Boys, my first live action show, as well as I will be putting up my rewatches for shows that I do season twos of that I haven't seen season one in a long time. 
you know, stuff like that. I'll be doing rewatches as Patreon exclusive content as well. So, uh, is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon? Is what I am actually currently working on. There's no episodes up on Patreon yet, uh, but they probably will be coming soon by the time you're seeing this on YouTube. So, yeah, anyways, guys, bye. <laughs>